Autonomous and Connected Vehicles for Cleaner Air, or Project ACRA, proposes to use connected and autonomous technology to address one of the most pressing public health issues affecting urban areas, poor air quality. Air pollution is contributing to the premature deaths of around 40,000 people a year. Air pollution in cities is becoming more and more of a problem because the human population are moving into cities more and more, so it's starting to affect more and more people. That's something we want to try and help solve with the ACRA project. My main role has been to identify existing locations with air quality problems and help inform the team as to the realistic situations that we as an authority come up against so that hopefully the system can be designed to work as we would need it in the real world. We're not only trying to meet legal standards for air quality but we're committed to trying to improve health outcomes through reduced exposure. At the start of the project it was obviously identified that we needed a lot more partners than just Senex and TSC. So a consortium was put together, feelers were put out there and got some responses back and we put together the six partners that we have now to work on the problem. ACRA uses data collected from both on-road traffic detectors and air quality sensors. The system uses this data to determine the level of emissions being produced and its impact on air quality in real time. The output of this process is the generation of a dynamic clean air control zone. Once triggered, an alert is sent to all vehicles that are approaching that clean air zone. In the case of the Teva vehicle, if it needs to charge its battery to support this instruction, it will do so in advance of entering the zone. The Danique system will then transmit a message to the truck saying, you are approaching a zone, please get ready to go zero emission. And the truck will respond, yes, I will do that. On entering the zone, it will say, please switch to full zero emission mode. And the truck will respond, yes, I can do that too. The truck will then remain in zero emission mode until it exits the zone, where if it needs to, it will return to full range. So one of the big problems with the air pollution is it's quite hard to link to the real world solutions to improve it, but it's quite nice to see a project where we can provide information about local air quality. We aggregate all the traffic, the 3D building data and the situ measurements into a map and we can push that over the internet to Danique for them to use in their products. What we've created that's new on this project is the dynamic zone generator which takes that emissions data and the data on air quality provided by EarthSense, converts it all into a big map of what's going on in real time in the city, identifies dynamic clean air zones, and then publishes those zones to Teva in order that they can enact them on their vehicles. The last couple of days, driving the truck around Leeds, having a direct voice contact with the control room here, and seeing the vehicle possibly run from zero emission mode into pre-charging ahead of a zone, entering a zone, switching off again, all as it should be, all in real time. I think, well, that that works. It's an opportunity to bring together some areas that have always been very close to each other but have never quite met properly. People who are into things like traffic signals get a lot of real-time data on what's going on on the roadside and people who are into solving the air quality problem get a lot of data on air quality. So now we're really seeing the benefits that you can get by managing the city in a much more joined up way. Working with people like EarthSense doing real-time modelling of air quality, working with the TSC that bring a whole breadth of scientific and practical knowledge around the wider transport sphere, working with Leeds City Council who are already a customer of ours but now we're getting a bit of interaction with other departments. It's really broadened our horizons as a company, given us access to resources and expertise that we might not have had otherwise and helped us put together a really effective and interesting solution. I think it's successful collaboration projects like this that really demonstrate how the project has been such a success by working with all our partners in a much more collaborative way for us to be able to demonstrate the Acro solution.